now that I've watched the film, I, all I have to, to ask is, why didn't people just come out and say it's a movie about liberals killing conservatives? Like, that would have been easy. It would have been simple. Uh, we would have knew exactly what we was going into. What's good, everybody? So I got to watch the movie, The Hunt. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't had a chance to do that yet. We're growing. Help us continue to grow here at Whole Views. So I heard about the movie called The Hunt last year and i heard about all the controversy about it on whether it would come out or not but didn't know what the controversy was specifically linked to and now that i've watched the film I, all i have to, to ask is why didn't people just come out and say it's a movie about liberals killing conservatives like that would have been easy it would have been simple uh we would have knew exactly what we was going into actually truthfully not even talking about the movie i'm just surprised that this was even made with the level of sensitivity that exists in the public today. Like, I just didn't think that you would get a film in which you have a group of what the media calls and what people calls elitist. The plot is them talking about killing people in a joking way, only to actually get provoked by dealing with the consequences of their text messages being leaked and then actually kill conservatives like they were joking about doing. Um, and weirdly try to blame the conservatives for like you did this like wow that's, this is crazy <laughs> this is crazy but it was a good movie though it was very fun i love betty gelpin i watched betty gelpin a lot in glow so i knew she could act uh, my friends who was watching it with me was like oh they disguising who the lead character is like nah i i i review movies so i know exactly who the lead would be uh, as people got taken out, I figured like, okay, they're gonna pick off most of these side characters until we get to Betty and then she's gonna do something. Now, I thought, based on a trailer I saw last year and just like images I saw, I thought that she was like a person who got through it luckily. Didn't know that she was a total badass throughout the whole movie, which was great. I enjoyed seeing that, like that they did that angle. One of the deeper thoughts that I wanna express about the film is that to me, the movie appears to show everyone how stereotypes can hurt you because the elitist in the movie got Betty Gelpin's character under the guise that she's white trash. She is from the trailer park. She has this horrible history. She could never uh, do anything that could hurt me. And what's crazy is that they picked the wrong person and in their arrogance never realized that a person with the background that they researched would not be capable to do everything that Betty Gelpin was doing throughout the movie. It was crazy that they never connected those dots. Like y'all should have really believed that y'all got the wrong person very early on. But alas, they did not. And that was, you know, their overconfidence and underestimation of hers was, was their demise in the film. Fun movie though, man. Very, very fun movie to watch. Um, very gruesome. I expected that because one of the guys who told me about it said like, oh, it's kind of like Kill Bill uh, in the way that it's like graphic and you know, real, very coordinated action. And it lived up to that in that regard. But outside of that, there was no other comparison to be made between the two films. One of the things that I enjoyed personally, this is a personal thing that I enjoyed so much about the movie is I'm a fan of actress Terry Weibel. So if anyone knows me personally, or you know, you watch it on Facebook and you catch this part, please listen up if you're from Louisiana, Southwest particularly. If you went to Beauchamp High School in the 2000s, you know, late 90s to 2000s, I graduated in 03, I went to school with Terry Rival. And I remember my first time, uh, had no idea she was an actress, no idea she was an actress. But I remember my first time seeing her, she was in The Walking Dead in this episode that I'm showing right now. And I watched that episode and I went full Leonardo DiCaprio. I sat straight up in my chair and I was like, that's Terry, like I went to school with her. I know her, I can remember her senior picture so well in my head. I don't know why I do, but every time I think about her in high school, I think about that picture. I don't know, it, it just stood out in my head. and. I saw her there and then I saw her in a few commercials and just doing different things and now I just take it as a personal pleasure anytime I see Terry show up in something I, I gotta sit up and do the thing and uh, saw her in this here and I was like oh she got some lines okay and although it was a movie that probably didn't get the attention it deserved 
it was a damn good movie and i did like the role she played especially knowing that she her character at least uh played out one of the more gruesome kills very early on that was that was fire to see and uh i i just enjoy catching her so again uh Beauchamp alumni that's us this is our little shout out that you know terry did a great job and i like to see terry pop up and things uh but besides that i would recommend this for people who are okay with some gruesome action uh if you're okay with political overtones because the political stuff is all throughout and it's amazing that so many people that i watched it with did not catch it like it did not stand out to them it did not spoil the film it did not take away from um the atmosphere that the movie created like this false narrative like everybody was just in uh, the conservative, liberal, re Democrat, Republican rhetoric throughout the movie, and it's heavily throughout the movie, didn't take away from the fact that this was just a good movie, a good, fun movie to watch. Loved Betty Galpin's character, loved everything that she did, you know, super resourceful, super badass, uh, beating people up, shooting people, being smart, uh, being aware of her surroundings. It was fun. It was fun to watch. So, although it's a 2020 movie and I'm kind of late to the party on it, Highly recommend The Hunt. I would have to say it was an eight. Eight out of 10, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, but anyway, that's just my two cents on it. I enjoyed it a lot. Enjoy yourself, guard your heart. Come back and see you boy on more videos.